it'll be an enormous fight. Now, okay, I got some news. Yeah, go ahead. You finish yours, and then I'll say it. Maybe- Joshua's eighteen and zero uh, <laughs> with eighteen KOs and has a gun beyond the seventh round. Klitschko's sixty four and four fifty three by knockouts. Uh, so now they're saying that this fight is the Bashir is saying that this is the battle of the KO. One of these guys will go. Somebody's getting tapped and somebody's going out. If the fight needed more hype and for they, April. They are also putting in an application for a 90,000 seat venue, Lee. They sold out the And they'll sell it. They sold the, and they'll sell Yeah, they sold 80,000 so fast there was nothing else they could do. It's a huge fight. It's a huge huge fight. If Klitschko wins this fight, he becomes the highest profile heavyweight champion. And did you see what happened to Anthony Joshua this this week on social media? No, what happened to Anthony Joshua so, on social media? So, I guess he tweeted out a picture of him um in, in a mosque. Is that is that the correct word? Uh yeah. 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 That's and what they're called. He was praying. And did did the dude from 24 come in with a gun and start waterboarding him? I think him? that's like what everyone wanted. I guess they started tweeting really bad things to him and everything. Funny. It, that's hilarious. Yeah, those guys are assholes, you know. Where's Jack Bauer? Listen, this is the only thing. I didn't find anything wrong with the picture, obviously, right? This is well, the only are this you, is Are you an Islamic lover, Andrew? No, is there something no, no. I to know about you and doing this show in the future? No, no, no. I just have no problem with anybody's uh what, what they believe in um uh, if you come to this country you know i don't want you to believe in shira law this was the number yeah, one no 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 show. that's the only thing i'm gonna get you know if you want to have if you want to take it you want me to go, answer it if you want to yes. take it where i you don't want to um um leave shira law in your middle eastern country then maybe the western honestly i know all you. women are very down on on the Islamic law for women. I love all of my Muslims that are nonviolent. But but from way. from my perspective, I I kind of look. I'm not saying that that it's right. I'm just saying that I understand, and I wish I could do that in America. You, you know, to to bring this back to boxing, Wayne are Wayne McCollin said that I was a weak Christian. Yes, I was eating with him. He asked me. I said I was Christian. He said, then why don't you fight the Catholics that are in the room? True story. Wayne McCullough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doesn't he have brain damage? I don't know. He might have. He, that's what he told me, though. He said over where he's from, they still fight. So <sighs> I am a weak Christian, I guess, Lee. You're a weak Christian. <laughs> I swear to God he said that. Hmm. Are you ready for some more able stuff? Oh, yeah. This is the problem I had with the picture. It had nothing to do with where he was praying, how he was praying, but he had sunglasses on, Lee. Why the hell is this man bowing in a mosque with sunglasses? That's the only thing I found offensive of the whole situation. No no Jack Bauer. No Jack Bauer. But no he, sound did, of- he did have shades. <laughs> Uh, so there's no 24 and there's no bomb associated. Do you think uh, they praying to Allah? Do you think Allah was a little upset about this sunglasses? Really, kid? Really? Uh, are we going back to all the Allah jokes that I have made in the past? No, let me get off that because we shouldn't Shh. do that at all. Abel Sanchez Shh. has a little bit room to talk. Abel Sanchez has he has put many- hold on important side note for those that listen to the show <laughs> yes I have made all the Allah Very jokes bad. Islamic jokes yes we were the number one sports show in Egypt that's not a hype or a joke I don't even know how it happened probably one person downloaded the podcast in Egypt <laughs> I guess um, I I can be a little racially insensitive to the largest religion. On the planet, I'm sure that there are very nice people that are Islamic. However, your extremists are really are fucking it up. Freaking hilarious to yeah, me. They're messing it if up. If you want dude. my opinion, that whole shit of putting a bag over your women and making them walk down the street where they can't see or drive a car—that <laughs> is some crazy ass shit. If you want my opinion, and I would love to be able to do it, but there is no freaking way that's happening in the U.S. of A. I. See what happened wow. this weekend? 
No, what happened this weekend, oh, Andrew? Come yeah. on. Are we going to tie this back no, to the box? I'm going to go back to Abel Sanchez. I'm getting off. All right, go back to Abel Sanchez. Names like Terry Norris, Miguel and Hel Gonzalez, Samuel Peter, Paul Vaden, Carlos Baldemir. He has some pretty good names on here, guys that made it to the top level, and then Triple G himself. So look at Abel. You just need to tone it down a little. You know, Abel's very much like Miguel Cotto, puts himself as the third person in the conversation and then always refers to Gennady Golovkin as, like, the greatest thing that ever touched the sport of boxing. Um, So he needs to tone it down, but he does have a very long list. I only named off a few, Lee, of that list. Um, So he does know what he's talking about. He has been here for years putting in work with these guys. It's just... uh, I don't know if he really knows when to stop with the uh, complimenting of him and Gennady Golovkin. So uh, I wanted to end on an up note for this show. Kazakhstan. Uh oh. That's a real place. That's a real that's place. That's Triple by the way. G's home, baby. Kazakhstan. Uh, also, where all the funny jokes uh, from Borat are from. Whatever happened this to that? This is guy. nice. Yeah, that's a good Kazakhstan. one. Kazakhstan <laughs> crowned their new newest. Sexiest athlete of live. Triple G. Name, oh, it's a girl. Her name <laughs> is Feruza Sharapova. And what sport is she in, Andrew? I don't know. Boxing? Boxing. Yes. Of course. I got to tie it into the show. Yes. She's actually married to boxer Dennis Ryback. Uh, they both share and work out in the same gym. Uh, and I will say this because she is an attractive woman. She's not that attractive. She has stunning eyes. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but go ahead and look her up. You can look up uh, Kazakhstan. Just type in Kazakhstan. How do you spell that? K A Z A K H S T A N. Nice. Sexiest athlete. Sex. Feruza. F I R U Z A. I put sexy time. <laughs> yeah, that's close enough. Feruza. F I R U Z A. Sharapova. S H A R I P O V A. And you can lay your eyes on this young lady. Uh, I will say this. She's too attractive and will get knocked out within the next couple of fights. <laughs> Leading to my theory that there are no hot female fighters who don't get knocked out at some point. <laughs> they all do. They all do. They all do. I don't know of really attractive fighters who go undefeated. Oh, Lee and- did pretty good. Layla. Layla did all right. I know she was. Layla never fought anybody. I knew you were going to say that. Oh, jeez. Layla never fought. It. She fought long enough just to buy the name. Like, she fought Fraser's daughter. Had Lee. this discussion. She fought Fraser's daughter. What? What else do you want? Right. <laughs> Remember they? Did you even know Fraser had a daughter? Hell no, that not fight? before that fight. And you know what? We were all going for Fraser's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> we were, and the whole house was. I have I no. Remember I have no idea why. <laughs> Go ahead. What was it? What was what? The joke. He said the joke. No, that that no. I remember talking about <laughs> Ollie's daughter uh, and and at the time when there's no. I got nothing else. No, I know, but she was undefeated and she was pretty hot. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that counts. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I could say this. Is this better? It's an exception to the rule. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get it. Everyone. Do you think she had a pussy on her head this weekend and walked around in a circle? <laughs> uh, Andrew, if I put a cock on my head and walk down the street, <laughs> how long before I'm arrested? <laughs> Did you see the photo of that one girl that actually, like, really made a vagina around her Yes, they put it over yeah. her head. They, the they had fuck, actual man. vagina outfits. <laughs> I like vagina as much as the next guy. Um, I don't know if I want to see that. <laughs> Got to be honest. She had a lot of detail, too. That girl, she spent some time on her vagina. Those were beefy curtains. Yeah, they were. <laughs> I don't know if I'm into the beefy curtains. I don't. I would probably spray that and get away from it. <sighs> what were they actually mad about? Is it because he has he's a, he has? His... I don't know. But if all these people uh, actually, I think Trump's right. If all these people had showed up on an election day and voted, 
probably wouldn't be in office right now based on how many people seem to be pissed off at him. Oh, my gosh. I just want to know what they were really mad about because equal rights wasn't there when Obama was there, right? There wasn't equal pay or equal pretty- rights for them. Why, like, what, what did, why did Trump inherit that? And if you're talking about the sexual assaults, we've had presidents that had that too. You see no fucking five million women walking the streets all pissed off. Poor, poor guy. Give the guy a break. Can we give him a shot, Lee? I know. Actually, I know my he... favorite of the weekend had to be the woman who had the shirt that said, "Here, Trump, grab this oh. pussy." Did you see that yeah, one? Yeah, she was a monster. Yeah, She's she was a, a damn monster. monster. I seen it. You know what? And here's what I was thinking: nobody, not even her girlfriend, would grab that pussy. <laughs> Just saying. That's why she was offering. I guess. I've seen a lot of women hey, Lee, offering. Their... You're in the yeah. real estate. I am. FHA loans being cut. How is that going to affect the American person? Uh, it doesn't affect them at all. It was about a $40 change. And your real estate moment yes. brought to you by yeah. Honish.com. Visit Honish.com if you're a real estate agent looking for marketing or information. Uh how did my day job get worked into this? I don't ask you about like electrical repairs with my I just like, wanted to know AC system. I just wanted to know if Could it... you imagine that at the end of the show? Hey Andrew, my system's down and I'm thinking of going to one of those interactive, you know, talk to it systems for my heating and air conditioning systems. <laughs> I just want to know if it's gonna affect uh, the the uh Did you hear that? I guarantee I'm gonna have a blackout here before we finish. Damn, the show. that's thunder back there, huh? Yeah, it's getting pretty serious in L.A. All right, very nice. So uh, any additional news before I lose all power? No, sir. I think we've covered it for the day. Hey, Mayweather didn't say shit this week, huh? Yes, he did. He wants to be a politician. Oh, yeah. and oh, I was going to say he's also talking about helping Ronda Rousey out. I don't know if she should take that, but he wants to. Yeah, I saw that story, but I don't put much into it. No, I, just, I know it's just. Floyd. And that also came out around the same time. As the Soldier Boy Chris Brown, oh, so that's older. Fifty then. Cent Floyd Mayweather bullshit okay. that was circulating, right. but yes, Floyd being a politician has been circulating. That's his latest. I think he'd make a good mayor of uh, Vegas. I'm into it. I'm into it. <laughs> I do not. No, nah, let's see how he, his strip strippers club. I'm very excited strip about club that. goes. For- I need a Vegas trip. Just to go do some research on the it's, Mayweather. It's going to be one of the worst places. Look at like Floyd can't even be in that building. Do you know how many people are going to be asking for favors? Going to be saying Floyd's my boy. Go get him. <laughs> go bring Floyd here right now. That's my boy. Floyd can't even be in that building. People getting shot, getting asked to see in the back door. Floyd, just let me out the back. Can't even. Do. I think guns are going to be allowed in. That's what I mean. He can't. Yeah, no, that's Floyd, that's exciting. Floyd can't be there. I'm dead. But serious. But look, I go to Vegas with the intent of danger. I like the fact that I know that I'm walking around with people that are pretty much strapped and ready Start to taking pop pop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it's a good time. It is going to be a good time for like the six months that it's open. <laughs> Do you know that they actually shut down a place? In, this is a true story They because I follow the news in Vegas because I'm that guy. So they shut down one of those little 24-hour kino strip club uh, video poker places. This is, a true, this is a true combination in Vegas. It had video poker and strippers and some light slot machines, okay? Topless waitresses and a bar. It was the literal shooting capital of Vegas. And it wasn't the first. It wasn't the second. Several years and and amassed 18 violent incidents. The city finally had to shut the place down. (laughs) Gotta love that stuff. That's a true story. Go look it up. Uh, That'll do it. Check us out on... (coughs) Excuse me, my throat's dry. Very weird. Uh, go check us out on uh, social media. Follow us uh, at Andrew Lapache uh, or at Lee Honish or at FightNet Radio, any of our formats. Download us, listen to us, iTunes, iHeartRadio, 
Spreaker, SoundCloud, any of those, or just type in Fightnet Radio on your favorite browser. 